Thank you, Troy. Well, it's hard to believe, but we're reaching another milestone when it comes to the coronavirus. And today marks one year since the World Health Organization officially declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Local hospital leaders are reflecting on the past year and what's expected to come next. News 6's Azzy Castro has that story. Evan Health officials reflecting on their journey after the coronavirus was declared a pandemic a year ago. They said it's been one of the hardest challenges, but they're holding on to hope now that we're seeing vaccines. It was a year ago that Avon Health admitted its first COVID-19 patient. Chief Nursing Officer Lynette Johnson remembers it very clearly. He was here with us and it was early in the pandemic. We didn't know a lot about the disease. We didn't know a lot about treating it. At the time, the virus was quickly spreading around the world and many shutdowns had already begun in parts of the country to try and slow the spread. And I remember watching as the NBA cleared the arena. Rudy Gobert was announced as being positive and they went from city to city to city as they were clearing the arenas. Evan Health officials say this was the challenge health workers didn't see coming from working long hours daily to shortage of supplies to seeing patients dying from the virus. And even with constant testing and vaccinations, they say the work isn't done just yet. We quite honestly were contributing to the new science, contributing to the research. And we asked Evan Health officials, what's next? Even after you get vaccinated, they said because so many people still haven't received their shot, it's still not the right time to let your guard down just yet. In Orange County, Ezzy Castro getting results news six.